<laughs> this gentleman in the corner, yes, go ahead. Sure, hi, my name is Joe. I'm a community organizer with uh, Lead Now, one of Canada's largest campaign advocacy networks. Uh, so I also want to do a show and ask who is in favor of some form of proportional representation? Okay, so I just want uh, you to take note of that. I think that that is the direction we should go in. I think it isn't uh, as challenging and difficult as uh, some of the discourse has made it out to be. I think we can modernize our democracy. Uh, and the second point uh, that I want to talk about, um, you mentioned early on that the Liberals have made a strong commitment to consultation. Uh, and I'm really thankful for that. I think that consultations like this afford us a really important opportunity uh, to build symbiosis between social movements uh, and between politicians, uh, and it's it's looking really well, especially in comparison to the previous government. Yes. Yes. But it only works. It only works if you take what you hear tonight mm -hmm. and actually translate that in Ottawa into meaningful policies. Yes. There's, been, there's been a clear consensus in this room that we need fast action on climate change. That we have to stop building pipelines. Um, but the official consultation period for Canada's national energy strategy ended in August. So I'm wondering what guarantee you can give to us, especially to the organizers in the room who have spent a lot of energy trying to help ordinary Canadians engage in these consultation processes, uh, that, that these ideas will be incorporated uh, into uh, both the energy plan and the uh, electoral reform plan. So thank you very much for having us and uh, I'll leave it there. Sorry, but I don't know of any national consultation on a national energy plan that ended in August. Uh, well, federal climate framework. Yeah. No, I mean there, there there was a ministerial panel. Yeah, and then there was uh, the portal. That, the portal. With the yeah, website. but that that's only for one project. I mean, uh, we're not talking about a national energy strategy. That's one project. Okay. You know, there will be many other projects, or not. There will be a modernized national energy board. That's for sure. And you will have ample opportunity to give the government of Canada, Canada your opinion on other projects and just as importantly on how you want to create a regulator in Canada that's going to carry the confidence of the Canadian people. So what happens on Monday in Ottawa when you get back there? Like where should you go? What's, what's next well, I, for you yeah. in terms of synthesizing this consultation? Well, we have 35,000 opinions on our website on uh, one particular project. Uh, we will have, by the time these consultations are all over and many more opinions than that. And uh, it will come as no surprise to you to learn that they will not all be the same opinions. And it will come as no surprise to you to learn that they are regionally quite specifically different. You can imagine, for example, that on uh, the Kinder Morgan pipeline, uh, the opinion of people in Alberta is not the same as some of the people in the lower mainland of British Columbia. You also might imagine that on the Energy East pipeline, the people in New Brunswick have one view and the people in another part of the country have another view. Now that's why you elected us. And I will be judged by you, and not just the people in this room, but the many others of thousands who aren't in this room, and across the country, who will have to determine whether or not the decisions that were taken were made responsibly, in good faith, and in the interests of the country. And some people will think that that's the only issue that matters to them, and they will go into the ballot box in three years and they will cast a ballot for a person who has taken a position on this issue. By the way, if you think it's a complicated issue for the Liberal Party of Canada, it's no less complicated for the NDP. Who is the Premier of Alberta? What is her position on pipelines? What is the position of organized labor on pipelines? So, I wouldn't mind being a fly on the wall in an NDP conversation about <laughs> energy projects, or how about the Conservative Party? The Conservative Party uh, that doesn't think that signing the Paris Agreement or admitting that Canada has a role to play in the fight against climate change, well, so, so I think I'm making my...